Well, today we're gonna learn about forces and see how they can help us do some amazing things. So what we're about to do also uses that force of gravity. We have this Frisbee here, some string, and a cup full of water. Now you'll see in the Frisbee, I've made three small holes just like that. I've put the string through, tied a knot, brought the other ends together and tied them together. So we have this kind of swing like this. But this time we're gonna put the cup full of water onto the center of the Frisbee and we're gonna swing it above our heads. Because we're gonna swing it above our heads in a circle and we're gonna hold tightly onto the string, we're gonna create a force called centripetal force, the force of circular motion. And that's the force that's gonna stop the water from falling on our heads. Okay guys, are we ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start off nice and slow Rock it back and forth, and then you're just gonna go for it. Okay, oh. and... <laughs> nice! Hey! Check it out! <laughs> Not a drop was spilt! <laughs> you absolutely nailed that. Okay, so before we launch rockets into the sky, first we're gonna look at our rocket fuel. Our rockets are gonna be powered by a chemical reaction. So in front of you, you have a bottle and there's vinegar inside it. And this balloon has a teaspoon of baking soda inside it. Now I want you to put the balloon on top of the bottle, nice and carefully so that no baking soda falls in just yet. Okay, nice and carefully. We're going to tip the baking soda into the bottle and I want you to observe the balloon. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. Woo! Check it Ooh. out. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> right now, there's a chemical reaction taking place between the baking soda and the vinegar, and that's releasing a carbon dioxide gas. That gas is spreading out, pressurizing inside the bottle, moves into the <laughs> balloon, and blows the balloon up. This chemical reaction is what's going to power our rocket. Now, here we have our rocket body. And you'll notice that I've put some lollipop sticks around the edges like that. That's so our rocket can stand up and point up. And to trap the gas inside, we're gonna use this cork. Okay, it's time now to prepare our rocket fuel. Now, so let's prepare the baking soda first. You'll need one sheet of toilet paper, just like this. You're going to get a teaspoon of baking soda, put it onto the tissue paper, and then wrap the tissue paper up just like this. That's one part of our fuel. Looking good? Okay, so once you have that, you can wrap it up into a neat little package. Like a parcel. Like that. Okay, now it's time to load the vinegar into the rocket. So we're gonna pour all of the vinegar we have into the rocket, nice and carefully, so you don't get vinegar all over your hands. When we're ready, we're going to put our baking soda into our rocket. Just hold it at the top so it doesn't go in just yet. Then we'll put the cork on nice and tight, and we're gonna place the rocket on the launch pad. We're gonna walk away. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, in three, two, one. Baking soda in, the cork on, and then we're gonna place it upside down, place it on the launch pad, and we're going to walk away. Put it on, releasing! <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're gonna make a catapult. On front of you, you have everything you need. You have some lollipop sticks, some elastic bands, and a spoon. That's all you need to make your catapult. Okay, let's start building our mini catapult. You're gonna make a stack of lollipop sticks, so take about five or six, just like this, and you're going to tie them together just by wrapping the elastic band around. Nice and tight, just so they don't fall apart. So one on each end will do the trick. You might have to wrap it a few times. So you have a stack that looks just like this. Cool. Done. 
Awesome. Now get one more lollipop stick and you're gonna place it between the last and second last lollipop stick in your stack. So just separate a little bit, put that mm -hmm. lollipop stick through so it makes a cross that looks just like this. Perfect, now we have one more step. We are going to put the launching arm, which is our spoon, onto the rest of the catapult. So place the spoon like this, and you're gonna attach it then with your elastic. So again, wrap it around. You might have to wrap it a few times because you wanna make sure it's nice and tight, it doesn't fly off. A few loops and you're good to go. So when I press down on the spoon, I'm building up potential energy in the catapult. Potential energy is energy that's stored in something due to its position or state. So when I press down, the potential energy builds up, and when I let go, that potential energy converts to kinetic energy, which will send our marshmallow through the sky. <laughs> will we test them? Mm -hmm. oh. One wheel! <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're learning all about inertia. On front of you, you have everything you need. We have a glass full of water, a postcard, a tube, and you will need an orange. I want you to place the postcard on top of the glass. Doot, doot, doot. So, <laughs> let's put them on top <laughs> of the glass. Now, you have to make sure that it's directly over the glass. Then, when you have that, I want you to place the orange on top. Now, a few final checks to make sure it's directly over the glass. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna tell you to pull the postcard out really, really fast. We're gonna pull the postcard out really fast. Ready? Okay, in three, two, one. What? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable mess. But that all worked thanks to inertia.